What is going on everybody? David Productions 345 here. I forgot to film an intro for this video, funny enough, so I'm doing this. Anyways guys, today's going to be a video about the top 10 modifications for your interiors, for your Dodge Chargers, Challengers, the Chrysler 300s, and some other Mopar vehicles. Some of this stuff will work, some of them won't. Anyways guys, hopefully you guys are enjoying your 2024, it just started. Hopefully you guys are living out your New Year's resolutions. But anyways guys, you guys know I hate long intros, so let's get right into this video guys. Guys, my car is really filthy right now, so I'm gonna go take it for a wash, and then we'll get into the top 10 interior modifications for your Mopars. So, without further ado, see you guys after that. Anyways guys, I got everything written down on my phone. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first interior modification that I think you should do to your Chrysler 300 Dodge Charger and Dodge Challenger is this armrest cover right here. This armrest cover I got on Amazon, I think it was like $25. It is so comfortable. It's leather, it has red stitching right here. It matches my whole red and black vibe. You guys see I have the same red stitching around my steering wheel cover. But it just, it's so comfortable. The stock armrest cover wasn't really comfortable at all. So I just wanted to get this one because it's a lot better and it's a lot softer. Especially when I drive for my POV videos, I have one of my arms on the armrest cover getting ready to shift, by the one on the steering wheel. So just a lot better to have this armrest cover because it gives my elbow something to just like push down on it's it's very comfortable $25 as I mentioned before prices will change so I'm not gonna put the prices on the screen so just check it out in the description next thing to go hand in hand with the armrest cover is the steering wheel cover this right here I think was $20 $25 at Walmart but it says Dodge on here you guys see part of it's getting faded because of the Sun but I love this thing this thing is awesome the leather quality isn't the best but it's also not the worst so the reason I got this was because my steering wheel is leather already and it just gets so hot sometimes with the he heated steering wheel so I just threw the cover on because it kind of dims down the hotness a little bit and it just it's very comfortable it's a leather wrap steering wheel already you guys can see the stock wheel has leather right there but I just wanted something more comfortable and I got this because it's a Dodge on it and I thought it was cool so that's the number nine thing on the list I'm doing from 10 to 1 instead of 1 to 10. This time the numbers matter. I mean, they really don't, but I think that the number 1 and 2 and 3 obviously are better than 8, 9, 10. Anyways, that's number 9 on the list. Number 8 on the list is actually going to be this. This is a windshield cover, guys. I put this on the windshield right here when it's sunny out so the sun doesn't start cracking my dash. A lot of people have problems with their dashboard cracking. I would highly recommend this. Again, it's in the $20 range. Uh, this one says Dodge on it. Let me unfold it for you guys. You guys can see it says Dodge. So basically what you gotta do, let me set my camera down for a second. You guys can see, basically you just put it up like that with the silver side on the inside, Dodge on the outside. And as I said before, it helps your dashboard from cracking. It also keeps your interior cooler especially if you have one of your windows cracked and if you have tints it'll help your interior stay cooler number seven on this list is actually going to be led trim lights so let me turn my car in here you guys see these lights right here it's not that dark let me close that you guys see these trim lights right here these are a little bit more expensive at 70 dollars from autozone but they're definitely worth it they make your interior pop a little bit more especially because i don't have some of the other modifications i'm going to mention so the trim lights definitely help with that let me turn this off to make sure no music comes on but yeah that is number seven is the trim lights they're a little bit expensive guys it's 70 dollars just for the one strip and then this strip right here is 30 dollars. so it's like about a hundred dollars there's cheaper options on amazon i know but this one was a lot easier because you didn't have to put the tube through like the outside of it like some of them this the interior thing like there's like thin plastic you gotta slide through the other tube that actually hooks into here. I didn't really want to do that, so I just paid the extra money to 
have it already done. So the way to install this guys is you kind of just shove it between the dashboard bezel and then the dash itself. If you need help, you can get a pry tool, pry it up a little bit, a lot easier. Number six guys, it's actually going to be interior lights. So we got lights here in the back. I have those lights. Also glove box light. So the interior lights guys, the reason I want one of these so much is because on all my cars, I'm a Malibu, I did this as, as well. It just makes the interior look a lot better and especially at night when you're looking for something, if you drop something, it's a lot better to have the LED lights versus these yellow disgusting lights. I can't replace these because these themselves are actually hardwired into the car. I think and I've seen a lot of videos about people saying it's not worth it. So I don't really use those lights. A lot of the cars don't even have those, so I'm surprised I do. Definitely a good modification. Um, the price is very depending on if you get the full kit or not. I kind of put the kit together myself. I just bought extra lights just so I'd have extras. I think I spent like 30, 40, 50 dollars on it. Definitely worth it. Definitely something to look into. Makes your interior look more modern. Number five guys is actually going to be WeatherTech floor mats. So the floor mats that I have, I got with the car, but they're like about $180, $190. Uh, yes, they're a little bit expensive, but they're definitely worth it. My driver's had one was very dirty, so I'm not showing you guys that one. They're very easy to clean. It is like a rubbery plastic material, so you just got to get one of those drill brushes and then put it on your drill, get some upholstery cleaner and carpet cleaner. I just, I think it's called like tough scuff stuff. I just spray it onto the mat. I take the drill brush and then go to town on that like that. So it's just very easy to clean, and they're just awesome because they have sides as well. So if you get water at all into them the mat will just kind of soak it in and if you want to dump it out all you got to do is just take it off you guys can see it has the sides to it it's a little bit on the pricey side guys but if i didn't have weather tuck on my old car i think i had these cheap floor mats and my carpets always got disgusting so the reason i wanted weather tuck is just because it's better so let me open this back up so there's more light in here but that is number five is the weather tech floor mats as i mentioned before they're a little bit expensive but they're definitely worth it it's also i think husky ones you can get as well and there's like another brand that's around 100 dollars instead of 200 but i haven't tried them out so i don't really know too much about them but definitely you got to pay more money if you want higher quality number four on this list guys is actually going to be a dash cam not this one specifically but any dash cam in general that's 4k quality the reason is because if you don't have a dash cam on your Mopar vehicle or any vehicle at all, you're missing out guys. If somebody hits your car and they leave, you have no idea how to catch them and you didn't get a picture of the plates, you're basically on your own. So having a dash cam is awesome. This one is a mirror dash cam. So you guys can see I have the rear one hooked up right there. Front one, the camera is right behind here. It's hard to get my camera back though because of my microphone, but definitely worth it. This one I think was $200. It was on sale actually for $84. Kind of upset about that. You can look at both the cameras at once. You can have the front one, the rear one. I have it set up as the rear one, just kind of like a digital rear view mirror like the Chevys have. That's the one thing I like about Chevys, but the coolest thing about the dash cam guys is as I mentioned before, you can use it as a digital mirror. Also, you can see both views at once. Let me close that. You can see the front and the back at the same time. I never do this because there's no point in doing that in the rear right there or sorry the front right there but guys the quality is really good so the coolest part about this dash cam guys is that you can record 4k in the front 1080p in the back or you can do 2.7k both sides or you can do 1080p both sides i don't know why you'd want to do 1080s but i keep mine at 2.7k each because a lot of the other cameras only record up to 1080p so this one was definitely worth it if it's still on sale for 84 dollars guys i would definitely recommend it the mirror ones a lot of people don't like them because it kind of makes the rear view mirror bigger but for me my mirror was like from here to here already so my mirror was already pretty big so basically this one is the 12 inch dash cam they have a 10 inch one as well i had my malibu but if you have a mopar vehicle like a charger challenger they have pretty big rear view mirrors if you have the auto dimming one so just get the 12 inch one um my wires i have running from here all the way to the back i also have the gps thing right here as well it comes with the mirror so when you're watching your footage uh back on your computer you can see where you were just in case you need a I guess know where you were I guess all right guys number three is actually upgrading your seats so if you don't have leather seats or if you don't have Alcantara seats or if you don't have both like the half half ones definitely get them if you have claw seats you need to upgrade they bolt right into your car if you have heated and cold seats you could find same ones same option seats I guess 
Um, you should be able to bolt them right in, no problems. Might have an airbag light. These seats are the stock RT red seats from 11 to 14. You can put any seats in a Dodge Charger. I think you can put the new Charger seats in as well. Challenger seats are probably a no because they're a little bit different because the buckles on the side right here But any charger or 300 seats. I'm pretty sure you can bolt right in the plugs might be a little bit different from the newer ones You can rewire them. I guess my favorite seats are the red Alcantara Scat seats. I love those. Those are my favorite ones when I get my next car I want to make sure that car has those the seats are one of my favorite upgrades if you don't have leather seats or if you want a different set of seats just because you're always in your car and you're always sitting on them so why not upgrade them number two on this list one of the most important things for your interior is getting the taser so you can do things like the cluster swap and have srt pages my taser is in the back of my car inside of my trunk double bypass installed i have an overlay of that but basically guys my the reason mine is back there is because so i have a free obd2 port down here so i can plug in my scan tools and such the reason i have the taser and i recommend it is just because you can have things like a light show you can have the srt pages performance pages cluster swap you can have so much stuff going on guys i think you can also add a pin lock now to the newer cars which is awesome so if somebody tries to steal your car they'll need a pin to drive it away i think there's also other options as well i'm trying to think the newer cars you can change out the splash screen like for these clusters for the 15 plus cars so a lot of features guys these also you can do a line lock too which sometimes works for me it used to work a lot more and now it doesn't work as much but it still works here and there you can also do the brake hold function there's a ton of options guys i have a video about my top five favorite features for the taser make sure to check that out up here but the taser is one of the most important modifications if you have a mopar vehicle because you can unlock srt pages performance pages performance timers you can unlock a bunch of stuff light shows and all that so definitely make sure to check it out it's 250 but it's definitely worth all the money if there's any sales going on because it's the new year's i guess i don't know all the links for all the products will be in the description below but the taser is probably my favorite modification for any mopar vehicle because basically it gives you a lot of features that the hellcat and stuff have that your rt or se or sxt might not have so make sure to check that out and finally number one on my list is actually going to be cluster swap i always talk about it all my videos check them out i have three or four videos about the cluster swap make sure to check those out up in the top corner um they're very popular on my channel because a lot of people like doing the cluster swap i like doing it because it was easy i was kind of scared of doing it at first but it was not hard at all i have a video about how to do it the cluster swap is only for 11 to 14 cars the 15 plus ones already have the new cluster so you don't need to put one in but if you like the 300 one better you can put it in your charger so vice versa so that's number one on my list and i'm going to mention a couple of things on my list that i don't have that i recommend so number one is the star headliner i don't have it number one i don't feel like doing it myself would take a lot of work number two it's very expensive to have it professionally done number three i like my sunroof as it is i mean i've seen people have the stars on the sunroof like this the star headliner is awesome a lot of people have custom designs they put like srt in the back or whatever their name it's really cool to do guys there's a bunch of kits on amazon a bunch of videos about how to do it i just don't feel like pulling my headliner and doing it personally all right guys the star headliner is an awesome idea for any vehicle it makes your interior look more modern like a benz i don't have it on mine and i don't really think i will ever do it on this car just because i don't really want to do it and it takes a lot of time to do and patience and i don't really have that so next paddle shifter extenders i obviously don't have paddles so i don't need the extenders but if you have paddle shifters definitely get the extenders it's way easier to shift you guys have this extenders go up to like here so you don't have to go like down here to touch the paddles it'll be like up here so when you're driving spiritedly you can just go like that that's the second honorable mention i guess since i don't have it myself Alrighty, guys final modification that i recommend that i don't have is carplay i don't have it as i mentioned before a lot of people have gotten it to work there's three different options there's four different options actually there's navix nav tool there's some option on timu or aliexpress i think and then the final one is re rewiring a 15 plus screen into your car honestly the last one i would not recommend because it's not worth it a lot of rewiring is needed the other options i think some of them might be plug and play or some of them might be close to plug and play do your research on it guys honestly i don't really know too much about it but i know a lot of people do it because they want car play Alrighty, guys that is the video that is all the modifications on the interior that i recommend there's a bunch of other stuff i did not mention 
if you have any more ideas comment those down below for other people to see also if you guys want to see certain products reviewed i could make those i guess i have a bunch of videos already up i have one about the taser one about the srt pages three on the cluster swap and just comment those down below guys anyways guys we're gonna call this video a day if you guys want to see certain videos make sure to comment those down below hopefully you guys are having a good 2024 so far but thank you guys for watching this video stay tuned for more, for more videos guys we're on the road to a thousand subscribers guys so make sure you like the video make sure you subscribe turn your notifications on share this video with your friends and without further ado guys see you guys in the next one peace out guys